Hello, this is Brewer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for Railroad Corporation. We are here in Iowa, continuing our run. We are doing much better than we did the last time we tried this. Uh, we're up to three million on the company value, three point one, which is uh, over a million dollars more than the next closest company. But we do know that these guys can catch up pretty quickly if we're not careful. Otherwise, um, we're also almost done with the passengers, and we got some lumber being delivered. So things are going pretty well overall. Um, Wausau requires some grain. That's way up there. Clover needs textiles over there. St. Paul needs steel, which we are not currently making. Now we do technically have access to everything that we need to make steel other than buying the steel mill itself, which we could buy because we have land for sale down here and we would just have to connect to St. Paul in some form or fashion. Um, We could definitely do. We want to just get an excuse to start putting some steel out there. Um, yeah, is that something we want to do? I mean, we could connect down here, but that's somebody else's thing. So we might as well just build our own if we're going to do that. You know, I mean, kind of like, why not? You know, like I said, we've got everything we need. We've got the coal, we've got the ore mine. In fact, we own both of these at the moment. You know, what, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and buy it. Now we're gonna have to pay, bid on this stuff, but let's go ahead and buy this stuff and see what happens here. Yep, got that. And then actually, I don't know if we're gonna. I think we only had to build on the land. I don't think we had to bid. We're gonna have to bid on this because I think we're buying this ourselves, right? So, uh, and a steel mill. Yeah, why not? So we have our own steel mill here. And we can go ahead and sign into this. And we want to get some trains coming in. Two ore to one coal. Uh, do we have, currently have any coal coming in? I don't think, I think we got rid of our coal, didn't we? We did. So let's just go ahead and set up some trains for that. Um, we're switching over to the Americans fully now. I think we pretty much are. It pulls almost the same amount of mass. And it just goes faster. So I think going with the Americans is still a good answer. And we are going to... Do we want to do two ore and one, one coal? Like, we literally want two trains pulling in ore. I mean, it is closer. It's like, you know, half the distance. So theoretically, it would... One train would basically be the same as... You know, two to one if you were at the same distance. So I think we just bring in one. All right, Marshalltown loads up on as much ore as it can. Without being too slow. I guess that's going to be four. Wow. And then we unload in Des Moines here. Okay. That's that. Let me see how much coal we can bring in before I start worrying about whether or not we need to uh, get a second ore train. So we can bring in five without too much trouble. And in that time, you would think this guy could take two trips. So that would be eight, eight to five. I think what we're going to do is we're just going to drop this down to four, make it go a little bit faster. And it'll be eight, two trips of that versus one trip of that. That'll be eight to four. And that should be the right ratio. And I think that'll be fine. Let's go with that. And then we've got to figure out how we're going to connect to St. Paul up here. Could I just connect through Rochester? Can we connect to your extra line here? Is that an option? I'm just going to kind of branch off one of these and just kind of see if we're able to connect to that at all. I don't even care about the train. I just want to see if we can. Looks like we could. Okay. Well, let me undo that because that was just more of a test than anything. Um, so, we're going to have to figure out how to connect there. Um, another option is we could just pull out a third line from here. 
just go straight to that. And that might not be a bad idea. I got the money for it. Uh, I will have to move this over a little bit. We're going to have to do another bridge, but we got the money for it. So I'm not super concerned about that. And this will just be a two-way train that goes... Its sole purpose is to go to St. Paul. We're going to have to make a weird curve here. Kind of come up alongside this track up here. All right, that should work. So we have our own train line here. Uh, it'll be a, obviously both directions train line. It does open us up to him traveling on our tracks now, though. I have to be a little careful of that, but it'll be all right. All right, so that's done. And then how much it produces two steel at a time. Let's just buy an American again. And we're going to go ahead and go to Des Moines. And we're going to load up on steel. Apparently we cannot load out that much. Three will have to do. I could probably need more than one train here because this is actually going to be a um, uh, what I'm trying to say. This is going to be a, a bit of a uh, slow process here. Three at a time. That would be five trips. A long ways to go for five trips. I think we're going to have to get another train, but let's, let's go ahead and get this set up first. Uh, and we're going to... St. Paul, unloading there. All right. And then we are going to uh, buy an exact duplicate right away, I think. Because we're going to be getting quite a bit of steel coming in. Yeah. We buy another duplicate. All right. Let's go with that. And let's unpause here. A lot of stuff going on. Now, we're not going to have the steel right away, but we will get there. Uh, we do have our... Repair services maxed out here at all? Do we could upgrade you to get a third shop, and I think that's the right move. Same thing with the filling station if we had the space, but no, I think the third repair shop's fine. So you guys are not waiting for repair. You guys are not waiting for repairs. Okay. New person, no, we can't afford you, so or we can't afford the space for you specifically. All right, lumber delivery is done. And where was that at? Cedar Rapids. Could continue to bring lumber here if we wanted to. Or we could start bringing some lumber potentially down to Fairfield with some grain. We already got grain coming. Oh, we already got lumber coming, don't we? But we could also add, we could actually add this to be lumber as well, right? Was it this one? Yeah, let's have you go to uh, Fairfield. Uh, we'll cancel Cedar Rapids. Unload. Just keep to keep that going a little bit faster. And you've only got one left. Yeah, we can we can just apply as is. I think that'll be fine. All right, let's do that. And then we are starting to get some whiskey. Do we have whiskey being transported yet? I don't think so, right? Uh, it has to be either going to Des Moines or somewhere, which I don't see any going to Des Moines from there. So I'm pretty sure we don't have anybody doing whiskey at the moment. So let's, let's hold off. We'll just keep an eye on it. I just want to make sure we'll keep an eye on it. If it looks like this is still filling up with nobody picking it up, then we can we can always pick it up at any point. Obviously, we've got plenty of ore, plenty of coal. So all of that should be good. Alright, we made a million bucks or 1.5 million bucks from passengers. That's good. 
wheat field. I was going to say, that's our wheat field right here. Of course, we're overpaying for it, but I'd rather make sure we have it in our under our belts here. All right, we still got over a million bucks. I mean, we can definitely do some more things. We have land in Cedar Rapids. We got land in Iowa City. We got, we got places we can set some things up if we wanted to. A bunch of clothes over here. Are those getting delivered somewhere? From Iowa City? I don't see any. I don't think so. Should be a way to see if there's train. It would be really nice to be able to see the trains that are coming from each of these places, right? That would be awesome. So... Yeah, close from Iowa City into, like, Des Moines would probably be good. Six. Oh, somebody's dropping off clothes. Okay. So we definitely have clothes here. Huh. Now, let me cancel for a second. Who, who's doing clothes? I wish there was a little bit slightly faster way of looking through this, but let's just go through it real quick. There's that. There's that. You're doing that, which you don't have. We can't do paper anymore. Okay. Uh, we can do paper in Cedar Rapids, so... We'll go to Cedar Rapids and we'll unload the paper. Go to Cedar Rapids next. Okay. Then Winona, Des Moines, Des Moines, Brainerd, Winona, Winona. Just doing very small trips here. Preston, Atuma. Oh, there's one right there. Cedar Rapids lumber for the tr for the contract. I just dropped lumber off here just to sell, and I think we might as well just do that. We're already kind of here. That's going to be fine. We've already got an extra lumber one coming down there, so I don't think we need another second one there. So that's that. Rice Lake, Winona. There we go. Cedar Rapids to Iowa, or Des Moines, uh, Iowa City to Des Moines. So we already got a clothing one. That's fine. Uh, so if we're not going to do clothes, what else would we do? Oh, through all of that, I didn't see any whiskey. So let's go to Fairfield. Load up on some whiskey. Two, two, four at a time, that's fine. And then you're going to come back up to Des Moines and unload said whiskey. All right, that'll work. I want to get a second line through here now that we've got more trains coming by. Again, we've got the money for it, so we might as well. Um, Where is this at? Hamburg? Okay, we don't care about Hamburg. But what we were looking at, I was going to look at, I need to set up this train line here. Alright, so I need to temporarily erase you. Bring you to the outside. We bring another one along the inside here, hopefully. Alright, that looks good. And let's split these up. You're going that way, you're going that way, and then we will get another train line through here. Uh, we already got trains going on there, so let's wait for them to move. Yep. 
you're gonna go that direction. You're gonna go that direction. Cool. All right, more train lines. More, more better. Already got six steel delivered. The contract for wood. Gosh, gosh, way over there. Okay, but we're not gonna do that. Uh, employee space requirements in going down. Uh, to get a little more salary, salary increase. Probably okay. We could probably afford the salaries. Right now it's only 23.88, so we'll go up by 40%. So we'll go up to about 3,000 bucks per month, which honestly I think we can afford. Unfortunately, we would have to fire somebody temporarily to be able to grab that. I don't really have anybody that I want to fire right now. Wooden, lumber, leather, and textile. Tile. Um, I think we're just going to hold off. I mean, yeah, it's fine. I don't think that's going to be what makes or breaks us, though. Should I be doing more research? Probably. we got more time. Oh, we're already working on some. I forgot. We already had some going. How many more trains are there? There's a lot more trains. I'm a little surprised that there's this many more trains. So got over a million dollars, though. I mean, all right, we definitely want to bid on that. Don't mind if I do. Um, we want to start caring about some of the laws and stuff. I don't know that we care about the laws we're right to say. I mean, at, at some point, maybe we should, but I feel like we're fine. Quite a bit of steel already just sitting there. Once we get done with this contract, we'll probably want to keep that going for a while longer. All right, that's definitely another one we want. Alrighty. I mean, I guess by more buy more things, we are slowly becoming a little more valuable. Well, it does feel like our value has slowed down quite a bit. A lot of furniture sitting here just doing nothing. Uh, we should get a line going to furniture going up to there. Yeah, absolutely. All right, let's do that. Man, I really would like... I think we're going to have to bite the bullet and find our least favorite person here and just get rid of them. I'm going to get rid of Zara. Ah, Zara, I think. Don't get me wrong, he's saving us a lot of money, but they're all saving us money. So if we grab you now, everybody gets more expensive. But then we can hire you, and we can probably hire... Well, not that we're going to do a lot more of this, but we'll hire you for now until we run out of space. Um, oh, yeah. Furniture. Actually spending a lot of money to buy this um, just to turn around and sell it for basically nothing on the increase. But what that does mean then is that we should just come in here and we should just buy the furniture factory. It's a good way for us to make some money. It's a good way to increase our value. It's probably going to cost us an arm and a leg. Okay, we got that way quicker than I expected. Now we did lose a lot of money doing that, so we need to kind of bounce back a bit here. Once we finish this steel contract, though, that'll pay for a good chunk of that. So 
Suppose we got all the stuff for our tool factory. Getting a tool factory set up somewhere wouldn't be bad. We could do that in Cedar Rapids if we wanted to. We've already got lumber coming over here, right? I think once we finish the steel delivery, we'll take a look at that. Actually, there's a tool factory right there if we really wanted to go for it. Not an especially easy way to get there. So it might just be better just to buy land and do it over here. I feel like our value is stagnated, though. Not sure what to do about that. Um, Waterloo wants wool. Okay. We will sign that. And how much wool we got? We got plenty of wool. So we can just do an entirely new train just for wool. Eight. How much do you need for the contract? 30. Okay. And then we'll at Station Waterloo. Right, we go to town. Tons of steel, actually, at the moment. What do you value steel? Just it's going up, but it's not going up by much. Like Brainer needs mail. We could get a mail trip uh, delivery going from as far away as possible all the way up there. No, we don't care about that one. What is the furthest delivery for mail we could get? Looks like down here in Creston. Let's just get a train going from Creston. Um... Uh, Creston, come on. And load up on mail. I'll go too crazy. Probably five is probably fine. Go all the way up to Brainerd. That should be a very good, good amount of money just because it's so far. Obviously, we get more money the further it is. Uh, let's come here to Creston. Let's uh, make sure you guys get a repair facility. Go, go, go. Oh, you know what I needed to do? Totally forgot to do the other direction. <laughs> kind of helps. A lot of the things we've been doing haven't had return trips. This one actually does have a return thing. All right, cool. Happy with that. Looks like Des Moines is full on clothes right now, so our train there is waiting. Could send some clothes up to um, St. Paul if we wanted to. Actually, it looks like Cedar Rapids once closed. So how about you go to Cedar Rapids instead, unload the clothes there and go to Cedar Rapids first. Cool. Happy with that. Perfect timing. All right. So some of the research is getting done. Where's our last steel delivery? All right, looks like it's going up there now. Cool, that gets that done. Uh, wool delivery should be start, start showing up here soon. Um, so T28, you need to start uh, unloading. What do we want to do with you? Do we want to go and get the tool factory? Or do we just want to unload the steel here for a bit? Not worth a lot, but just just temporary. Well, no, you know what? Let me cancel that. I'm actually gonna have you. Let me cancel for a second. Let me let me stay paused. Let me let me see if we can buy the land over here. All right, we're good with that. How much would it cost us to get a tool mill or whatever it's called? Tool factory. 
170,000 bucks. All right, that's easy enough. So then we'll go find our trains that we're going to St. Paul. And you're going to go to uh, Cedar Rapids instead. That looks good. And what was our other one? You. All right. And then we do have some Cedar Rapids trains coming in with um, wood. Can you load up more wood? Sawmill is currently empty at the moment. Not really without some pains, but what we want to do is we want to unload at the tool factory. All right, that'll work for now. Uh, research is done there. Have you out. Up to 3.5 mil. We're getting there. I mean, well, again, we'll hire some of these guys that are good for construction until we need the, the space for people. All right, once we get some tools coming in, we'll figure out what to do with that. Clothes are dying off. Do we not have... Okay. Um, do we not have leather coming in? Definitely have leather being produced. Look at meat coming in. Okay, you're a gerbus. Let's go ahead and actually schedule a uh, replacement for you. Oh, American. You actually can already be American, so... Load up on more meat if we can. And unload meat. Um, Des Moines actually doesn't need meat right now. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to send you to... Honestly, for now you can send you to Otuma. Until it runs out of meat. And then we'll send you to the next one. And we'll kind of just work our way along the line there. I'll take care of the meat side of things. I don't see leather. Yeah, I don't think we have any leather coming up. So we definitely want to get some leather coming out. We must have filled up at one point and I changed things up. Cool. All right, we can fix that. Go to um, Preston. Load up on the leather. And then go to Iowa City. All right, looks good to me. Probably want to buy this clothes factory at some point. Why not? Yeah, let's buy it. We're actually not making hardly any money off of it right now. In fact, we might even be losing money. Let's go ahead and buy it. Come on. Come on, George. Be nice. All right, so we got that. Jumble, we're not really doing jumbles, so I'm okay with that not being a thing. Uh, we've already delivered our first batch of wool. Good stuff. Still only at 3.5 mil. And they're starting to catch us again, so this <laughs> we could end up failing this all over again because we're having trouble staying on top. Okay, uh, that's close to us, but really just not worth, I think, going to. All right, we're going to put a cut in there. When we come back, we'll see if we can finish up this mission. We've got two, you know, a couple of things done, but we just got to get to that 5 million value before anybody else does, really. So I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you, and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you, and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout-out to the following channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.